Tonight, for the first time, the public is hearing the sordid details of a murder for hire plot that li the likes of which local investigators say they have never seen. A Mobile infirmary nurse hiring a dying patient to murder his ex girlfriend, another nurse at the hospital. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us with the sinister plan, the payout, and the deadly past the jury never heard about. She painted a street lamp from New Orleans. That Throughout their home are the keepsakes. This was the first stuffed animal she ever had. Kent and Juan Morris display. She never knew I, I still had it. To remind them of Kayla. We prayed and asked the Lord to give us a baby and he blessed us with her. The Biloxi couple's only child. She was my angel and she was the perfect child. February 2015, the bright, beautiful 23-year-old respiratory therapist was tragically ripped from their lives. And we miss her dearly. By this man, Steve Mason. The only person she had problems with in her life was you. Kayleigh met Steve at Mobile Infirmary, where they'd both worked. Steve describes meeting her during a police interrogation. I was at nurse station and I Every time she'd get on the other, she'd always be looking at me kind of smiling and stuff. The hospital is also where Steve met this man, Adam Miller, a cystic fibrosis patient in failing health. And according to Adam's own testimony, the hitman in Kayleigh's murder, hired by Steve for $2,700 to do his dirty work. I told the jury that Stephen Mason picked the perfect weapon, and his weapon was Adam Miller. It's not the 410 shotgun. He picked somebody that didn't have much to lose. Surveillance video shows Adam arriving at Kayleigh's apartment complex there in his black Altima on February 2nd, 2015, about an hour before Kayleigh is seen leaving the hospital at the end of her shift and arriving to her apartment. Adam testified he waited for Kayleigh outside her door, dressed in all black clothing and a ski mask, and shot her in the head with a shotgun Steve had given him. Adam seen driving off three minutes after Kayleigh had pulled into the parking lot. Stephen Mason had showed Adam Miller where Kayleigh parked her vehicle. He had shown um, her, he had shown Adam Miller where Kayleigh's apartment was, what side of the breezeway she'd be walking up, where she'd be coming from, where the cameras were at the apartment complex. Steve's motive for murder was simple. He wanted her and she didn't want him. He didn't want to let her go. Steve's ominous words captured in this text exchange that Kayleigh felt the need to screen grab. Steve's mad she didn't respond quicker to him on Christmas Day and erupts, writing, quote, you treat me like I'm an AIDS infection you're trying to avoid. I had a heart for you, but it's turning into something cruel. After New Year's, I'm gonna have that final conversation with you and my pain, you will see what you've done and hopefully understand. As a matter of fact, I'm sure you will. Just over a month later, Kayla was murdered. I didn't kill uh, Kayla. I know that's what I, that's, that's what I do know. That's what I can say. Because I was at work. Mm -hmm. Period. Never left. Ever. A jury didn't buy his pleas of innocence and convicted Steve Mason of capital murder last month. What the jury never heard about. I shook her and she didn't move. And I this wasn't Steve's first time in an interrogation room, being asked about a dead ex-girlfriend who'd been shot in the head. 13 years before he had Kayleigh murdered, investigators say he shot and killed 17-year-old Misha Anglin. A judge granted him youthful offender status, meaning the maximum penalty was three years in jail and his record sealed. An absurd and infuriating ruling to Misha's family. I hope his conscience rots him. I really does. I hope this rots him, and I hope him see. I hope he sees Keely's face and Misha's face for the rest of his life. I really do. Though it took years of exhaustive investigative work, tonight the Morris family is getting the justice Misha's family never received. They're going to pay this price in this life. They're going to pay the price in this life but there's a life of eternity in hell, and that's the real price that they're gonna have to pay. Next week, Steve Mason will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole because the state has taken the death penalty off the table in this case. Prosecutors say Adam Miller agreed to plead guilty to murder. In exchange for his testimony and cooperation in Steve Mason's trial, 
He'll serve three years in prison. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.